Hey guys, it's Kina. <clears throat> Here I am once again. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about being fucked in the ass in prison. <laughs> okay, so let's start with, okay, when I was at the jail in Linwood, and Linwood Regional Correction Center, I believe, there was one incident. One of the positions, like a chief commander, this man is kind of like head over the prison, the jail, kind of like up there in the rank. And we were standing in line and this is a black man. This is a black man and he was older. And he says, so what are you guys in here for? Theft and theft and drugs. And I thought to myself, wow, how could you stereotype us like that? Just immediately, just assume that we're all in there for theft and drugs. And then he says, and what's up with that hair? You guys need to do something with your hair. And in jail, really there's not much. If you're an African-American woman, there's not much that you can do with your hair. You can braid it. That's it, okay? If you got nappy hair like me, okay? You're gonna be walking around looking like a nappy head, okay? Nappy head, or just you're gonna be walking around looking like a dude with braids, okay? So me, at that point, with my nappy head, I was walking around looking like a nappy head, and some of the other black women were wearing braids. But I thought at that point, wow, I dare you talk about our hair. There's not much that we can do with our hair. We don't have a press and comb. We don't have perms. We don't have weeds. We don't have anything. So anyway, I dare you. How could you? Okay, but fine. And then he looks at me and he says, what you in here for drugs, huh? I said, no, I'm not. And he says, what? Um, you stole something out the, um, the store. Wow. I said, no, I didn't steal anything out the store, okay? He said, well, you ain't for theft, huh? I said, yeah, I'm in here for stealing some money. He said, how much money? And I said, a lot of money. He said, how much is a lot of money? And I said, 1.2 million. He said, I hope it was worth it. And he's looking at me in disgust. And I said, no, it wasn't. He said, I bet you didn't get nothing out of it, did you? And I said, yes, I did. But anyway, he goes on. But just that situation was one of the moments where I felt belittled and not really ashamed. A sh well, a shame of this man. A shame that this man can stand up there and try to belittle his own sisters and degrade us and make us feel like shit. I dare you open your mouth and try to make us feel that way. Okay. Yeah, I had some emotions going on at that point. Yes, I felt like I was being fucked in the ass. Because I, 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 I did, I messed up. I did a crime, a crime that was wrong. I stole some money that wasn't due to me, that I should not have stolen. I 
am serving my time by being put in prison. I am doing my time. I've been taken away from my family, my children, my baby. I left my baby. My baby was 11 months. I'm in here. I'm working. I'm serving my time. And then here you come. Wow. That, that's all I can say at this point. So that was one of the times that I felt like I was being fucked in the ass. Okay. Okay, a lot of people can say, well, you deserved it. You shouldn't have stole the money. No, I did not deserve to be put down and degraded in prison. Being put in prison enough is, is enough. But there's a whole bunch of other times. For instance, like the food. I didn't eat the food in jail. And right now, I'm just talking about jail. We haven't even gone to prison yet. I haven't even gone to prison yet. But I didn't eat a lot of the food in jail. You know why? Because the food tastes like crap. And they would do this on purpose. Okay, for instance, like, okay, on Monday, we're going to have flop. Because I don't know what to call it. On Tuesday, we would have flop. I call it flop because I don't know what to call it. Wednesday, they take the flop from Monday and the flop from Tuesday and they put it all together. So Wednesday, we're having flop. This flop has no meat in it, okay? Right now, my husband, he's on a no meat diet. And he asked me, are you gonna go on the diet with me? No meat? No, I'm not. I want meat. <laughs> right now, I'm excited to be eating meat. I went a few years without eating meat in prison, okay? Because of the flop that they would give us in jail, it wasn't meat. Wow, fucked in the ass in prison. I wouldn't eat that stuff. We're allowed to order mm, noodles, crackers, chips, skins. So that's what I would eat, noodles. I would eat noodles. That's probably why I got the high blood pressure. <laughs> So yeah, now I have high blood pressure. <laughs> but I would eat the noodles. Okay. Now, picture this. Picture the the guards. The guards. The guards. The sheriffs is what they are. In prison, the sheriffs will fuck you in the ass every time. They are the meanest people that I've ever met. I don't know if they train them to be that way. Train it like, you're gonna go in there and you're gonna fuck these women in the ass. <laughs> and you're gonna do it and you're gonna do it hard. I don't know. But for real, it's sad because these are the same women that if you go to the grocery store, you see in the grocery store, you know, but they're sheriff and they work inside the gym. Same women, if you go to the gym, you'll see them working out in the gym or Wherever we go, the same women. But these women are mean as hell. It's sad the way they treat women. And I would just look at them, and a lot of us did, and just think like, ooh, if I saw you on the street, if I saw you on the street, I would kick your ass. Straight up. And there was this one, and everybody said, yeah, she live in Compton. I know where she live. And I used to just be like, you just don't know who you messing with. Wow. Wow. Somebody going to get her one day. It was sad because, and I'm the sweetest, the one of the kindest people you could ever want to meet. And the women in jail called me mama, called me mama Z, because they couldn't pronounce my name. Because I come off, I'm here. 
I'm here to do whatever I can to bless a woman, to give some wisdom to a woman, just to be kind and helpful and gentle, whatever I can to help somebody. So that's what I was doing because that's what God wanted me to do. But these guards, these guards, you could, uh, I had a whole bunch of experience, but for instance, excuse me, guard. Okay, I, all right, all right, let me tell you this story. Okay, going back and forth to the court before they allowed me to bail out because I had to have a bail hearing because they didn't want to let me out. They didn't want me to use my own money to bail out. They didn't want me to use my own homes to bail out. So I had to have a bail hearing to find out where the money was coming from and what houses were going to be used. So that took, that took seven days before I was actually bailed out. So during that time, I had to go back and forth, maybe two weeks, not seven days, maybe two weeks. So I had to go back and forth to court. So just imagine, okay, so they put me in. So the next morning, bang, 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 five o'clock in the morning, get out, you gotta go to court. You got five minutes, five minutes. I'm thinking, five minutes, oh shoot. So I jump out of bed, hurry, put my clothes on, take, take me down, say, so take me to the court. So I go to court, oh man, that's another story. So when I'm done with court, they bring me back. There's a whole long process, but by the time I get back to the jail, got a bend over and cough and I'm thinking like wait hold up bend over and cough I didn't take a bath <laughs> so can you imagine that ain't even funny I'm mad okay well I hear bend over and cough okay so by the time I get back to my cell it's like eight nine o'clock at night and the lights are already out and they say, go, go, get, get, get in bed, go get in your cell. And you're like, oh, shoot. So you go in the cell, there's always somebody new in there, sprung out, whatever. Anyway, and you like go to bed, and you're like, dang, but I need to take a bath. Okay. So, sleeping all good next morning. Bang, 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 bang. Wake up, wake up, five o'clock in the morning. You gotta go to court, you gotta go to court. I'm like, oh, shoot, I gotta go to court again. Jump out of bed. All right, you got five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. I gotta go to court again. Wait a minute, hold up. I didn't even take a bath. Wow. So I go to court again. I go to court, same thing. Come back, eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night. Hurry up, get in there, go to bed. I'm like, oh my God. What do I do? I haven't taken a bow. Excuse me, officer. Shut up, shut up. I don't want to hear what you got to say. I get it. Oh, I'm like, oh my God. They ain't trying to hear nothing I got to say. I got to go in there and take a bow. I, mean, I need a bow. <laughs> so I go up myself. I'm like, okay, well, I got to wash up. I'm going to wash up in the dark. So I get a towel and soap. The soap is not to be used. Not to be used on the vagina. My stuff is sensitive. Can't just be using anything, but I did. So I, I cleaned up the best I could. I'm like, oh my God. Okay, just do what we'll do what I can. So the next one, same thing. Bang, bang, bang. You gotta go to court. I get to the court. I wasn't even supposed to go to court. It was just they do what they call a dry run. They just take you to court, pretending like you got a court. They don't do it well. You ain't got a court. And I'm like, listen, somebody, listen. Today is not my day to go to court. I'm looking forward to taking a bath and stuff. Today is my. It's not my day to go to court. But nobody's listening. You're like, excuse me, officer. And they're like, shut up, get in line. Who told you to talk? Nobody told you to talk. And I'm like, oh, my God, nobody wants to listen. I'm going to go to court. I don't understand. Today is not my day to go to court. So I go to court. Sure enough, today wasn't my day to go to court. So I missed my bath. I was really looking forward to taking a shower. Not a bath. Yeah, right. But a shower. I was looking forward to taking a shower. So what, how many days are we going on not taking a bath? Sure enough, I got to go back to the jail, bend over and cough. Wow. I'm like, you know what, this is ridiculous. I got to take a shower. I need some water. 
this is not right. This is not fair. I've been trying to tell the officer. They're not trying to listen. Every time I open my mouth, they tell me, shut up, get back, move. Who told me to talk? So I was like, I don't care. Tonight, I'm going, I'm, I got to take a shower. I'm going to talk and they're going to knock me down or whatever. But I have to say something. I got to take a shower. So I'm nervous for real. So I get in there like, get in there, hurry up, go to bed. I'm like, wait, officer, and this is a black officer. I'm like, wait, 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 listen, please, please, woman to woman. I looked her in the eye. I said, woman to woman, look, I'm going on day four with no bath, no shower. Okay, woman to woman, please. I need to take a shower. All I'm asking is five minutes, five minutes, let me take a shower. Please, please, f please, I was saying, please, let me take a shower. She looked at me, she said, okay. But five minutes, you better get in there. Five minutes, you better hurry up. I ran. I ran in there, focusing on the vagina. Watch me, watch me, watch me. <laughs> I was hurrying up, okay? In five minutes, that water went out. The water shut off. And then I was able to go to my cell. Wow. I think that was four days, four days without a shower. So can you imagine going like four days without a shower? Back and forth, you're getting on a bus, you're being transported to somewhere, and then, just, it was just horrible. But once again, I was being fucked in the ass in prison. Okay, so, there's a lot of other stories where I was being, wow, there's other stories where I was being fucked in the ass in prison. Okay, so I'm going to stop right here, and I'll do a part two about being fucked in the ass. There's a lot of being fucked in the ass in prison, and literally, yes, literally. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell y'all about that. I got a lot to tell y'all. Okay, so oh, once again, you guys, thanks so much for listening to me. Thanks so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate you guys.